This is the Rope Masters Video Cast, your source for the best in rope skipping instruction. Hosted by world champion Peter Nessler. This episode, we are in Juneau, Alaska, which is my hometown and where I learned how to jump rope. And I was able to meet up with some old jumper friends of mine that were on the Juno Jumpers with me for quite a few years, uh, actually, which is the team I started on. So it's kind of fun to be able to meet up with some people that I used to jump with, and we're able to do some two-wheel. Um, I've got uh, Meg Megan and Nicole who will be helping me out with this, and for uh, the basic or the JV skill, we'll be doing a switch. You'll learn how to do a basic switch and two-wheel. And then for the varsity skill, we'll be doing a 180, um, e or actually it's an EB full turn. So it's still kind of a complicated trick, but you'll understand and learn how to do it um, in this episode. The JV skill. For the JV skill today, we're going to be doing a two-wheel switch. Now, to do the switch, the basic thing we're going to be trying to do here is have both of the switch places. Now, uh, Megan is going to go in front of me for this switch. We can, we can either go either direction, but I'm going to end up going behind and Megan's going to go in front. So to switch places, we'll just kind of walk through it so we know what we're going to do. She's going to step over her rope, actually bring it over her head just so we're in this position. We're going to count, ready, set, go. When we say go, we'll switch places. She'll go in front. I'll go in back. And when I come over here, I'm going to be jumping over the rope first since I'm coming from behind. So just to get back where we start, we'll count, ready, set, go. When I say go, we'll both move at the same time. I'll come and jump over the rope. You're not going to change your uh, swimming motion at all with Chinese wheel while you're doing this. You're not going to have to make any adjustments. You just turn normal, you just switch places, and when you get to the other side, you just jump. Now, we'll do it one time here. We'll start jumping. I'll count, and I'll miss. Let's try it one more time. Come over. Ready, set, go. We'll switch. And then we'll just jump normal. Now, once you can switch to one side, you're going to want to switch back. Now, one thing to note here, too, is what rope I'm counting. Um, just because of the direction we're moving with the left person moving behind, I'm counting my the right hand first. So I'd count ready, set, go, and then we move on the next jump. Now, to switch back, same thing. This time, I'm going to go in front. Megan's going to go in behind. We'll just jump through it. Ready, set, go. We'll switch. And we're back to where we started. Now, once you've got those down, you can do them individually. You can also put them together for a trick called a roll around. And we'll just go through that real quick. We'll count, ready, set, go. We're going to switch. I'm going to take one jump on the right, switch back, and then I'll be jumping on the left side again. And that looks like this. Ready, set, go. One jump. And back from where we started. We'll do that one more time. Ready, set, go. Switch and switch. And that is how you do a basic switch in Chinese wheel and then also the roll around. The varsity skill. For the varsity skill, we're going to be doing an EB full turn. Now, what this will entail is doing a full turn and an EB at the same time. Now, the first thing you need to determine is which direction you're going to be turning. To make this trick work the way we're going to be doing it, we're going to be turning towards the inside. So for me, being on the right-hand side, I'm going to turn to the left. If Nicole was doing it, since she's on the left, she would turn to the right. So with that figured out, what we'll do is we'll just kind of walk through what we're doing here. What will be is instead of just going into a full turn and then trying to jump an EB this direction, what I'll do is I'm going to do an EB right at the start. So if I'm turning to my left, I'm going to take my outside hand, which is my right hand. I'm going to bring this behind my back on the first jump. Now Nicole's going to jump over her rope. This will come over here. And what I'll do is this rope's going to come up over me here. If I can bring this up, I'm going to turn out. Nicole would jump over hers. And then I still have one more beat where I could just stand here because the rope's now behind me before it comes over and then I jump again. Now we'll just jump through it real quick so I can explain what we're doing and it'll, you'll get an idea of what's happening here. So we'll start jumping. Uh, I'll jump. Out. And then we're back into regular wheel. Now, a couple things to note really quick here is, first of all, Nicole has to jump really big when the rope's coming around for her. And that mainly has to do with just the direction the rope is traveling. And there's not a lot that either of us can do about that. So she just has to jump real high. Now, me, I just have to make sure when I'm taking this first jump, I jump real big, get my feet up out of the way. And then on the turn here, when the rope comes up, I just turn around and then just bring it over 
and bring it out when I get back to the front. So there's not a whole lot involved besides just getting the first jump at the proper time. Now if I turn and then try to bring it behind my back, you're going to find that the rope's just going to end up missing your feet completely and you'll just be doing a regular full turn. So you want to avoid that. You want to make sure that you're taking this jump with this arm behind your back right at the start to make this work. So I'll show you it one more time. It'll come up. I'll jump. And out. Now Nicole will show you. And it caught a little bit on her head there, but we were still able to pull it out. So, you know, don't give up when you miss on tricks. You know, you can still usually make them work if you're willing just to keep the ropes going. So make sure just depending on which side you're on, right hand side, right hand behind your back. On Nicole's side, which is the left hand side, she would just bring her left arm behind her back while returning. And that is how you do the um, EB full turn. <laughs> For more information, check out www.jumprm.com.